In this video you will learn how to modify the layout of the floor. You will learn how to modify the slab width, profile, direction, and cut side. You will also learn how to move individual slabs. Finally, you will learn how to modify the seam gap between the slabs and how to lock and unlock the seams. Click here to activate the command. Let's modify the floor width. You can move all seams by selecting one seam and starting to drag. To add a new seam, select a seam. Hold down the control key and start dragging. When you stop dragging and release the mouse button, a new seam is added to that location. To make one slab smaller, select a seam. Hold down the Alt key and start dragging. The slab on the left or right side is made smaller and all slabs on the other side will move with the seam. Now let's modify the profile, width and cut side of the slab. Click the slab to modify the values. Here you have the profile, width, and the side of the cut edge where the part is cut. As you can see, the leading edge option changed the cut side of this slab. You can modify the properties of multiple slabs at the same time by holding down the shift key when selecting slabs. To modify the gap width between the slabs, drag the end of the gap dimension or change the value directly. You can modify multiple gaps at the same time by holding down the shift key when selecting seam line handles. To move a slab or change the order of slabs, select the slab and hold down the left mouse button to drag the slab to the new location. To change the direction of slabs, drag the slab direction handle. Finally, let's lock and unlock the seams. Click on the seam you want to lock. Click on the lock button to lock it and click it again if you want to unlock it. When a seam is locked and you are dragging the seams, with or without the Alt or Control key pressed, only the seams in the range between the locked seams are changed. 